Listening Test Two, December twenty fourth, twenty sixteen. Part A. In Part A, please look at the pictures below. You will hear some questions about the pictures. Choose two correct answers for each question. One. Which two of the following sentences about the picture are true? A. The coach is encouraging the athlete. B. The athlete is lifting some heavy weights. C. The coach is embarrassing the athlete. D. The athlete seems determined to improve. Two. Which two of the following sentences about this chart are true? A. George has always been the tallest of the three boys. B. George is currently the tallest of the three boys. C. Frank has grown the most out of the three boys. D. Billy used to be the tallest boy, but now he's the shortest. Part B. In Part B, you will hear several questions or statements. Choose the best response or reply. Three. Todd has accumulated a large number of comic books. Four. What's the likelihood that Steve will come to the party tonight? Part C. In Part C, you will hear one or more conversations between a man and a woman, and then a question following each conversation. Choose the best answer to the question. If you could choose one superpower, what would it be? I would really like to be invisible. Why would you want that particular power? I could get into movie theaters without paying. Five. What superpower would the woman choose? The history paper I'm working on is so hard. I know. But you've got to finish it to pass this class. I know, I know. I need to keep going. That's right. Don't give up. You'll get through it. Six. What approach is the man suggesting to the woman? Part D. In Part D, please read the questions below. You will then hear one passage about these questions. Choose the best answers to the questions. The Codex Gigas, or Giant Book, certainly deserves its name. It is not only remarkably long in terms of pages, but also large in size. It is 90 centimeters tall, 50 centimeters wide, and 22 centimeters thick. The Codex is a medieval manuscript written on donkey skin. It is said to have been created by Herman the Recluse. A 13th-century monk. It contains the Latin Bible, a calendar, and much more. The Codex also features a large picture of the devil, so it's also known as the Devil's Bible. According to legend, Herman broke his religious vows and was sentenced to death. In order to avoid this fate, 
He promised to create a book containing all human knowledge in a single year. Unable to do so, Herman sold his soul to the devil, who completed the book for him. That's why the devil's picture is in the book. This is the end of the test.